You don't have to be from Frazier to know of Eberline Drive. It was the epicenter of the sinkhole in 2016. Two houses at the end of the street collapsed on Christmas Eve. But now that life is back to normal in the neighborhood, the name Eberline Drive is rising, not sinking. Jamie Edmonds with that story tonight. This is Eberline Drive today. Quiet, peaceful, the sound of construction and demolition crews, a distant memory. Nowadays, the only disturbance might come from the Hirschman House on game day. We're expecting probably, you know, at least 15 to 20 people from the community and maybe more. It's an open house. A big watch party is in the works for Thursday to watch Son Jake's basketball team play in the ESPN TBT tournament. I'm just a huge basketball fan. I haven't played like with a team since eighth grade. No, Jake isn't playing. I agree, a nice pass there, huh? Instead, he's got a front office role as he and a friend put the team together. Playing general manager is something Jake's done for years with little success. They kept losing and losing and losing. But this year, after direct messaging the right NBA players on social media, he struck gold. Uh, our best player is Jerome Randall. He's the all-time leader uh, in points at the University of California and now plays professionally in Australia. We've also got five former NBA play players. From 72 teams at the start, it's down to four. The prize, $2 million. The team name, Eberline Drive. Me and my buddies, when we first made the team in 2014, we decided to call it after the street we grew up on because, uh, you know, that's just kind of where we've lived our whole lives and, uh, you know, it means a lot to us. It means a lot to those who live on Eberline Drive too. Officially, everyone is on the bandwagon, hoping the street's namesake rises up. It's nice to have something really inspiring and great to have people talking about Everlane Drive with a passion and an excitement instead of a dread. Not only does Jake have the support of the neighbors on the street, he's got the Board of Commissioners as well, who just issued this special tribute. Everline Drive plays in the semifinals tomorrow night. In Fraser, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. And we have a little extra rooting interest in this story. Jake Hirschman, who you just heard from, the founder of Everline Drive, used to be on our team here at Local 4 as an associate producer. Oh. So, of course, all the best to him. Cool connection. Yeah, yeah it was. That's how we knew about it.